Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. ABCD is a rectangle. Point P is 11 units from A, 13 units from B, and 7 units from C. What is the distance from P to D? Note, the point P could either be inside the rectangle, or it could also be outside the rectangle. A variant of this problem was asked as an interview question at Microsoft. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. There's a special equation that always works for rectangles and a given point P. It doesn't matter whether the point is inside the rectangle or outside the rectangle. It is always true that AP squared plus CP squared is equal to BP squared plus DP squared. In other words, the sum of the squared distances from P to a set of opposite corners of the rectangle is equal to the same sum of the squared distances of P to the other set of opposite corners in the rectangle. This equation will make quick work of the problem. We were given that AP equals 11, BP equals 13, and CP equals 7. We can substitute those values into our equation, and then we can simplify it, and then solve that DP must be equal to 1. So this is a fantastic formula because we can figure out the distance to the fourth corner from knowing the distances to the other three corners. And we don't need to know whether P is inside the rectangle or outside the rectangle, and we don't know anything about the rectangle, like its length and width. We can still figure out the distance from P to the fourth corner of the rectangle. Now this is a rarely taught equation, but it has a kind of interesting name. We can represent it geometrically as follows. We have AP squared, which we can represent as an area that's a square. CP squared, we can also draw a square. For the other distances, we'll draw them as red squares. For this equation to be true, it means that the total area of the blue squares is equal to the total area of the red squares. Now this diagram has a vague resemblance to the Union Jack, and so this is actually known as the British Flag Theorem. It's rarely taught in school, but as we'll see, it's actually an extension of the Pythagorean Theorem. So now let's prove why this equation is true. We'll start out with the rectangle, and we'll put point P inside the rectangle. The proof will be similar when P is outside the rectangle. So now we'll draw all of the distances from the corners to the point P. What we'll do is we'll draw a vertical line that's perpendicular to CD and AB that runs through P. We'll label the intersections as E and F. We're now going to write in some variables for the distances. We'll say that the horizontal distance from A to P is equal to W, the horizontal distance from B to P is equal to X. We'll then say the vertical distance from A to P is equal to Y, and the vertical distance from P to D is equal to Z. So because this is a rectangle, we can actually label some of the other lengths in this figure. We know that DF will also be equal to W, and CF will also be equal to X. So now, where does this get us? Well, you can see that we have four right triangles that involve the four distances to P that we want. So we can figure out the squared distances using the Pythagorean theorem. AP squared will be equal to W squared plus Y squared, BP squared will be equal to x squared plus y squared, CP squared will be equal to x squared plus z squared, and then DP squared will be equal to w squared plus z squared. 
Now, if you add up the variables correctly, it is obvious that AP squared plus CP squared is equal to BP squared plus DP squared, because both of them will be equal to X squared plus Y squared plus W squared plus Z squared. Thus, we've proven the British flag theorem. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.